Hello, I'm Valerie Bloom, and I've got a poem I want to share with you today. It's in this book here. It's called Fire Burn Cauldron Bubble. It's published by Bloomsbury, and the poems are collected by Paul Cookson. There's some lovely poems in here. There's a poem about, well, I'll let you find out for yourself. My poem is called We Don't Believe. I was combing my daughter's hair one night and she said something about ghosts. And I said, we don't believe in ghosts. Then she said, that sounds like the first line of a poem. And you know, I went away and I wrote this poem. And here it is, we don't believe. We don't believe. We don't believe in ghosts, child. We don't believe in ghosts. We don't believe in goblins, ghouls, or any of the hosts of weird creatures you read about in comics and fairy tales. We don't believe in things with fangs, sharp claws, or pointed tails which are said to visit folk asleep and steal babies away. We don't believe in changelings or trolls that force you to obey their many evil wishes who can bind you to their will. We don't believe in leprechauns, and we don't believe in a hill where lords and ladies dance all night and disappear at dawn. We don't believe in the naiad, the dryad, or the fawn who lurk in streams and forest trees, or fearsome creatures of the night. We don't believe in vampires who crawl inside and bite you when you're sleeping and suck you dry of blood. We don't believe in children living in a wood whose feet are turned behind them and whose piteous calls will slyly lure you to your death. We don't believe in walls covered with moss and lichen, concealing magic doors. We don't believe in fairy folk living beneath your floors who crawl through the rooms after dark and turn the fresh milk sour. And we certainly do not believe in the supernatural power of werewolves, zombies, dragons, or in houses that are cursed. <laughs> There's nothing in the cellar, child, so come on. <laughs> you go first. Now I've got a challenge for you. I'd like you to make up a creature and write a poem about it including where it lives, what it eats, and why we should beware of it. Have fun, and good luck with your next challenge. <laughs>